10.3b, factoring tricks, the difference of squares. Recall that when we had identical things in our boxes or parentheses, but had opposite signs here, when we multiplied this out, we got a squared minus b squared. This is our formula. A lot of these factoring tricks um, re rely on formulas and it's just a matter of getting them memorized. The difference of squares is basically the sum and difference of square roots. Okay, so let's see how that works. So in our first we're looking to see, can I take the square root of the first term? Can I take the square root of the second term? And the answer in both cases is yes. And we do have a difference. This has to be a minus. If it's not, we cannot factor it. So, since our answer was yes, that we do have a difference of two squares, we put in our two boxes. We put plus in one, minus in the other take the square root of the first term, in this case a, we put it in the first place, take the square root of the second term, in this case 9, and we put that in, and you're done. If you do not know this formula, you cannot factor this. So you must know the formula in order to factor. Okay, let's look at our second example. Can I take the square root of 49? answer is yes. Can I take the square root of 25? The answer is yes. The squares on our y's and our x's tell us those can be, we can take the square root and we do have a difference. So again we just put our two boxes, put plus in one, minus in the other. Square root of the first term is 7x square root of the second term is 5y. And you're done. How do I check my answer? FOIL.